。好，第廿九條呢，就係講返啦，以下邊一款嘅物質呢，係最能夠增加到一棵植物嘅新物質量嘅。咁當年呢，得廿個八個 percent 嘅同學答啱嘅啫。咁首先啦，我要剷除呢，就係兩個答案，就係 A 同埋 C， 而水呢，就係大部分同學揀咗嘅答案嚟嘅。咁但係水點解會係錯啊？咁啊，根據返二零一七年嘅第十三條呢，其實我哋已經學過噶啦。吸咗返嚟嘅水，其實大部分都係失咗去，咁佢就唔能夠成為棵植物嘅新物質量啦。咁當然有一樣嘢要提嘅，就係、是、水呢，其實都能夠令到棵植物呢係重咗嘅，呢、這個啱嘅。咁呢個呢係有關於先重嘅問題。咁但係啦，作為一個先重呢，其實就唔係咁準確㗎嘛。啊，吸多啲水又會重啲，吸少啲水就會輕啲。而新物質量呢，我哋集中係講有機嘅物質。例如啦，碳水化合物、脂肪或者蛋白質，所以點解答案會係 D， 亦都唔係 B， 因為 B 咧正正就係攞氧氣嚟做呼吸作用，就會將啲嘢食拆咗佢，反而會令到咧生物質量係下降，所以一定唔會係佢。而二氧化碳之所以係正確，係因為佢攞嚟做光合作用啦，整咗嘅碳水化合物可以儲存喺棵植物嗰樹，就係 starch 啦，去成為佢嘅生物質量一部分。同時咧，碳水化合物亦都可以俾棵植物咧攞嚟製造蛋白質同埋脂肪。而佢哋咧都會令到一棵植物嘅生物質量咧係上升嘅，所以啦 C O 2 w 就先係答案。而當中啦另一個 concept 要 check 下嘅其實就係咩叫生物質量同埋質量啦。頭先我都講過啦，生物質量咧主要就關乎於有機物嘅。咁但係質量嘅話咧，佢可以係先重，先重咧就即係當中係有水。而我哋喺 ecosystem 嗰課都學過啦，如果要量度一個準確嘅生物質量咧，我哋要量度嘅咧應該係一個乾重而唔一個先重。乾重就係啦，將啲水分。完全踢走咗佢。Question twenty nine is asking which of the following substance will contribute most to the increase in the biomass of a plant? And there were only twenty eight percent student got it correct. First of all, I would like to eliminate options A and C, and particularly most of the student they chose A. Water as the answer, but why it is wrong? So let's recall the question in 2017. It's asking that water absorbed by the tree is mostly used to replenish the water loss. That means most of the water absorbed finally they will be lost. However, then he some say so that's why they cannot contribute to the increase in the biomass. However, water can make contribution much to the mass of the plant. So the concept is about the fresh mass. It depends on the water content in the plant. And let's take a look at options B and C. So for the oxygen, we can also say goodbye to it because oxygen will be used in the respiration and then to break down the food to release energy. That's why it will need to the decrease to the biomass. But the question is talking about increase in biomass. So that's why oxygen is not the choice. The carbon dioxide is used to produce food in plant by photosynthesis, and the carbohydrate can be stored in the plant as. The biomass or the carbohydrate are used as the skeleton of protein and lipid production. All these organic matters it can contribute to the biomass of the plants. So that's why carbon dioxide is our choice. And the second concept we are checking is to distinguish biomass from mass. Biomass is regarded as the organic matter in the organism. And then we talk about the mass. We learn it in the ecosystem. If we would like to measure the biomass of an organism accurately, we should not measure the fresh mass. We should measure the dry mass. That means we remove all the water in the fresh mass to make an accurate measurement.